Hey Leute, willkommen zurück zu Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. Wir müssen wieder in den Strafprozess gehen. Listen. The truth behind my hero's death, sparkling justice may hold the key. No, that just has to be it. Cause it's bad. Let's go. We can't forgive the killer. This glass draw stuff again, so this time we gotta figure out who killed my hero, huh? I don't get complicated stuff, so I'll leave this to you guys. If you don't unleash your power here, where else are you going to unleash it? Don't you want to avenge my hero's death? Doch genau deswegen mache ich's ja. What the? Madakuma changed forms, color me surprised. Hey, hey! Could he be the tap to awaken hidden powers when he gets angry? He's a stuffed animal, right? Damn it! I'm not mentally prepared yet, like, I don't think I'll ever be. But we can't just stand around all day. Hmm. Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> my hero, why did my hero... <laughs> this is impossible. <laughs> I'm a Yakuza, I'm gonna run or hide. Then... Let's go, there's no reason for us to waste time here. <laughs> I have nothing to do with this. <laughs> you should be honored. It's nearly showtime! A mere human such as yourself will be present to witness the beginning of the end. Okay, I'm getting him You're so, so evil. evil! No matter how many times I see it, it's such bad taste. The worst, the lowest, most brutal taste. Somehow I moved my muscles, stiff from fear and nerves, and awkwardly walked onto the escalator. For some reason, my briefing was short, and I was eventually struck by a feeling similar to dizziness. The moment all of us were inside Monikuma Rock. A rumbling sound filled the room and the surrounding space began to fall. As it shook with a clatter, the elevator we were inside continued to drop. Throughout the drop, I was fluctuating between feeling hope and despair, as if my heart was to run fruit, swelling in the sun before it finally got squish. I suddenly stopped breathing. My consciousness began to fade from the pressure. I tried to endure that, endure that pressure by firmly standing on my legs, and after a while the elevator's vibration gra gradually weakened, and then it stopped altogether. Ta-da! Aim, defeat the boring routine! So I've decided to start redecorating. How's it look? Mr. Monokuma's redecoration is awesome, isn't it? Impossible! It's not like I'd allow you to think otherwise anyway. That is go to the trouble of doing something this elaborate. Really, what is your true intention? No, no! Nothing really. Essentially, this killing game is just to kill time away. You... Kill time? Yeah! To break away from my purpose, that alone is my purpose. Like... My purpose is only gonna be a weakness. Those who have purpose are always the weakest ones in the bunch. That's why you guys should forget about such cheap-ass purposes like trying to survive. Ah! And enjoy the class trial from the bottom of your hearts! It's starting, the class trial is starting. Mahiro Koisomi, the ultimate photographer. She had an unyielding force of personality, but she was actually very good at taking care of people. Most importantly, she was always straightforward. The person that killed her. Is it among us? I want to believe it. I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it, but... Regardless, we need to find the answer. It doesn't matter if you believe it or not. Because it's the only way. Aside from finding out who the killer is, there's no other way for us to survive. And so, this life-threatening trial, billowing with hope and despair, has begun. Yeah, ich möchte speichern. Okay, so let's go to one of our ganzen 
Habe ich hier Sets? Ich habe gar keine Skills. Ich weiß gar nicht, wie man die überhaupt bekommt. Ich muss das gerade mal googeln. Warte. Ich meine, ich kann es jetzt eh nicht benutzen, damit ich es beim nächsten Mal benutzen kann. Ähm... Also dann können wir mal die Handbook öffnen, um zu gucken, was wir hier für Dinge haben. Okay, die Zeit. Footprints. Achso, man muss die ganzen Dinger freischalten von den, äh, die Hauptfragments oder wie die heißen. There are a bunch of empty plastic bottles inside the trash can. And that pretty animal girl. Hey, dummy. Shower room. Iron barred window. Das man einfach so öffnen kann. Broken fish tank. Ja, das ist ja die ganzen Dinger hier. So, um school swimsuit. Ending prize. Entrance hall photo. With race. Looking crown. Yes, econ team. Dummy bag. Letter on my hero. Ah, my... uh, warte, was war nochmal die Autopsie? Achso, dass ich direkt tot war. Okay. Ja, komm. Ich muss mich hier vereinfacht spielen. Now, man, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will earn the right to leave this island. Oh, no matter how many times I hear it, it's such a cruel rule. Now then, let's first discuss the motive. That masterpiece of gaming, Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. What? Who cares about that game? The outcome of this trial should be determined by whether or not we find Mahiru's killer. Nevertheless, we shouldn't ignore it. After all... That game is the motive this time. Yeah, you're right. Then let's try discussing that first. I'm sure everyone who's beaten the game already knows that it's based on an actual murder case. Some of us have not beaten that game. Give us a detailed explanation. It means Twilight Syndrome Murder Case is a non-fiction game. Additionally, some of us are characters in that game too. Some of us are characters in a video game? So, I think it's better if we clarify who the characters in the game are first. The characters in the game were girl A, girl B, girl C, girl D, girl E, boy F. The high school girl got killed at the beginning by girl E. By using the staff role after clearing the game as a reference, I should be able to figure out who's who. The first character the player was able to control was Girl A. The true identity of Girl A is probably... My Rose is not the bar girl... Mikan? I see! Okay. Girl A is probably... Mikan Zumi. This day is not so fängt das jetzt an, ey, das ist schrecklich. Aber Boy F müsste dann Fuyihiko sein. That definitely sounds like Girl A. Based on the list of names in the staff roll, I can't think of anyone else who would be Girl A. Why am I in a video game? That doesn't break me of my right to privacy. A nasty, trashy pig shit like you doesn't have any privacy rights. Ah, a nasty, trashy pig shit. I feel like I heard that in the game too. Oh, Hilfe. Huh? Ja, sie war auch in dem Spiel, aber ich weiß halt nicht, welches Girl, welche Girl. Obwohl, es gab eine, wo böse war. Ich glaube, es war Girl C. She's right, the one who said it was Girl C. Nein! Da war es Girl D. Damn it! Damn it! Ey, das könnte es doof. Nein? 
Damn it! Damn it! Ich hasse das! Was ist das? Dann sag auch nicht den Highschool Girl that first. Damn it! Was echt Girl B? Ich dachte, es wäre Girl C oder D gewesen. I see. Ernsthaft? Girl B war das? Girl B was short and foul mouth. She's probably Hyoko. Ich habe mir das noch nicht gemerkt. Ist das bescheuert? Short and foul mouth? That's like the complete opposite of me. Anyway, let's move on. Next is Girl C. Ey, ist das bescheuert? Girl C, hi, personal. Was hyper energetic and unique. Das müsste eigentlich. Hyper. Akane? Ich will damit nicht sagen. Ibuki. I see. Okay, ich muss darauf achten. Is Ibuki. Girl C? Then I'll see you next Tuesday. Alter, ernsthaft? Let's move on to Girl D. Girl D, huh? There's only one person who. Girl D. Mikan, Mahiro, war doch, glaube ich, Girl A. Nee, es muss mal Hero sein. I see. Für Hiko ist ein Junge und Mane Kuma kann es nicht gewesen sein. Girl D ist mein Hero. Der Victim in diesem Fall. Und Mikan war ja schon. Ja, das ist korrekt. Let's skip Girl E und talk about Guy F. He's Guy F. Für Hiko. I see. Aren't you Guy F. Für you, Hiko? I was in a game? That's fucking stupid. That reminds me. Wasn't there another person whose last name was also Kuzuryu? Yeah, this Opfer. Another person? It was one of the names on the staff roll. The names were Sumiki, Koizumi, Sayonji, Miyoda, Sato, Kuzuryu, and then another Kuzuryu. Hold on. Why do you keep saying there were two Kuzuryus? It's not like I'm wrong. That's how it's written on the staff roll. Since you beat the game, you probably know what this actually means, right? The reason for Hiko's last name was to reappear twice. It's true, I have a hunch, but call me out like that, and I guess you're definitely someone I shouldn't mess with. The reason he appears twice is because. Oh God! He had an older sister or a little sister? Ich weiß nicht, little. I can prove it with this. In the game, guy F. Kuzuryu mentions that he has a little sister. Oh, stimmt. Ja, okay, gut. Ja, jetzt hält's mir gerade nicht mehr. Hm? What do you mean, little sister? This is what Guy F said in the game. That bitch, what the hell did you do to my little sister? It's pretty clear. There's no doubt that Guy F had a little sister. Plus, the sister actually appeared in the game. That's why the name Kuzuryu appeared twice. By the way, what role did Guy F's little sister? The other Kuzuryu play. You probably noticed, right? I don't really want to say it myself, but I need to move the conversation forward. The only character in game I could see. That's the girl died at the beginning. I see! The dead high school girl who was the first victim in the game is the only person I can think of. Based on Guy F's tone in the game, it's clear that Girl E is not his little sister. So if the only person left is the dead high school girl, then she must be Fuyuhiko's sister. Why do you sound so fucking happy? That's a winning personality you got there. Winning personality? Are you praising me? I was being sarcastic, dumbass. Hey. You said the game is a work of non-fiction. That means Fuyuhiko's little sister is... Yeah, I have a little sister. Something wrong with that? It's just a fucking game. Don't go mixing up some video game with reality. It's not just a game. It's definitely based on true events. That's why it's the motive. Don't go making shit up, bastard! If she was the type to die easily, I'd have fucking killed her myself a long time ago. I mean, when I first entered Hope Speak Academy, she, she was mouthing off to me as usual and sent me off. It, it happened just the other day. Um, about that. You're probably thinking like that because you've lost your memories. Shut the fuck up! You be quiet! I see. 
So you're never gonna accept that that game is based on true events, huh? Okay, I understand your attitude toward this class trial now. Nagito, you seem to be doubting Fuyuhiko a lot. Do you suspect he's the killer? A mystery that easy would make me feel sad. It wouldn't be good enough to serve as everyone's stepping stone. That's why. I'd be much happier if Fuyuhiko wasn't the killer. Okay, you're starting to act weird again. Anyway, now we've established who all the characters in the game are. Girl A is Mikan. Girl B is Hiyoko. Girl C is Ibuki. Girl D is Mahiru. Guy F is Fuyuhiko. And the first victim in the game, that dead high school girl, is Fuyuhiko's little sister. That's just a story in a fucking game. If so, then girl E is Miss Sato. Could it be? The same Miss Sato who likes white rice? I don't know what Sato you're talking about, but I don't think she's relevant to this case. Maybe it's related to Gundam's last name, since they're both really plain names. What the heck? Is that why Tanaka may be an ordinary family name, but it's far better than Sato or Suzuki. And he also has a strange rivalry going on. Hey! No one cares about that! Hurry up and talk about the mystery of the game! Huh? What do you mean, mystery of the game? My, my, you don't know. I heard that girl E got killed. What? No way! Is that true? Getting killed is so violent, don't you know? My, such awful times we live in. Why did this happen? You guys are definitely friends. So the mystery of the game is the murder of girl E, correct? What all men based on Let's guys. hurry up and solve it. Let's first figure out why girl E was killed. Oh. The reason girl E was killed, I should be able to assume why based on the content of the girl. Witness the murder? Interfere with the murder? What's the what's the killer? I see. The reason girl E was killed is because she killed the first victim in the game. Which means girl E was killed as revenge for the dead high school girl. What do you think, Fuyuhiko? Apparently, Girl Lee was killed to avenge your little sister. You're fucking persistent. I don't care what that game said at all. But. But. It, is it. Is that true? Girl E. She, she killed the first victim? In order to make that clear, we need to know more about the case involving the first victim's murder. It's the murder that occurred in the music room. I knew it would come up, so I prepared in advance. Look, I made a map of the music room surroundings, which was the stage of the first case. I'm surprised you went to all this trouble. Mapping is second nature to retro game fans. Classic dungeon crawler RPGs have a first person point of view, so mapping as you play is a basic. We get it! Let's talk about that later so we can focus on the case! Then, I'll start explaining. Girl A, Girl B, Girl C, and Girl D were at the entrance hall when they heard the sound of glass breaking. Immediately, they climbed the stairs to the second floor and headed to where they heard that sound. Girl E was in front of the music room on the second floor, and she confirmed that the sound came from in there. But the door to the music room was locked. So Girl D went to get the key from the office. And when the five of them were finally able to go inside, they found the victim's body, dead from a blow to the head. Because the music room's window was broken, the girls thought the killer escaped through there. The sound of breaking glass that they heard at the entrance hall seemed to confirm that. Plus, Girl E's school swimsuit was stolen, so they concluded that the escape killer was some pervert. How does that sound? Yep, yep. An, an understandable explanation. explanation. Just, Just as expected, expected from the, the ultimate, ultimate gamer, gamer who excels at clearing games. games. But it wasn't a pervert, right? Wasn't the real killer Girl E? Obviously. Girl E was waiting outside the music room for the other girls after she killed the first victim. 
Did she lock the music room from the outside? Then she would have totally needed the key from the office. Which means Girlie was hiding that key. We can assume she used it to lock the music room after she left. But Girl D was the one who went to the office to get the key to the music room, right? Stimmed. By the way, since it was never mentioned in the game, we can exclude the possibility of there being a spare key. You can lock the music room from the inside, right? So from there, Girlie broke the window and escaped! And sprinted at the front of the music room as fast as she could before the others arrived! She would have passed by the entrance hall where the other girls were waiting if she tried to do that. Then... forget this! It's not cute to see an old guy sulk! Hey! Is Girl E really the killer? We haven't reached an answer yet! Based on the details of the game, it's no mistake that Girl E was waiting in the hallway as the killer. Then what did Girl, Girl E do after killing the girl inside the music room? I guess I need to clear that up first. <laughs> after she killed the first victim in the music room, what did Girl E do? She just broke the window in the music room and escaped outside. So how did Girlie get from outside the school to the front of the music room? To go back to the music room from outside, you need to go through the entrance hall. Plus, at the entrance hall, the other four girls should have been there. At the entrance hall, the girls... Heard the sound of the window shattering. How was she able to get past those four? Mm, and wait in front of the music room. She probably used a hidden passageway! Twilight's hidden passageway is the world's best! What girl Lee eat it after the murder in the music room? I need to find a clue that will clarify that. After she killed the first, what did Girlie do? She just broke the wind and escaped out. So how did Girlie to the front of the music to go back to the? You need to go through the bus, and then the other four girls should. At the entrance hall, the girls heard the sound of the window shatter. No, that's wrong. First of all, the sound the girls heard wasn't the window breaking. If it wasn't the window, then what broke to make that sound? A vase. Vase? How low can you go? After the murder, a broken vase was discovered in the classroom next to the music room. So the sound of breaking glass that the four girls heard wasn't the music room's window. It was the sound of the vase breaking. Actually, the murder was nearly finished by the time the four girls met in the entrance hall. Girl E killed the victim in the music room, broke the window, and went to the office to get the key. With that key, she locked the music room from the hallway, returned the key to the office, and went back to wait in front of the music room. All she had to do was break the vase in the next door classroom as the four girls met by the entrance hall. To make them think the murder had just occurred and that the killer had just escaped. So, when the four of them ran over after they heard the sound, Girl E acted like she had just rushed over too. Gut, Leute, wie sagen, machen wir im nächsten Part weiter bei Dengen Rumpert 2, Goodbye Despair im Class Trial Nummer 2 und ciao.